hello everybody welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you crochet techniques for beginners and uh, how they can make a chain after that we are going to learn how to make a single crochet half double crochet double crochet triple crochet at the end of the video also you are going to learn how to make a rib with crochet before I start to make a chain, I want to show you how we can find out which hook number we have to use. Usually when you buy a yarn, you can see this picture here, this symbol. It shows you uh, for hook or needle, you can use three and a half or four, for example, for this kind of um, yarn. So, this is the way you have to find out how we can use which number. Let's start with make a chain. Usually it's really important to make the first stitch secure and you, is have, you have to make it knock here. The way I always do that, I'll take here and make a cross like this. Let me just take that one. When it's like that, I grab the yarn and pull it through this and then So it means now we are secure. So we start to make chain. One, we grab the yarn and go through the holes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How can we count the chain? We start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the way we are going to make a chain. Now we are going to learn how to make a single crochet. If you look at here, I have eight chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to make one chain. This is the beginning of the row. Then I insert the hook here between, if you can see, I have two here and one here. If you make two, is make it really beautiful edge here. And then grab the yarn like that. Again, insert the hook for the next chain. Grab the yarn and knit together. Insert, grab, knit together. You keep continue until the end of the row. This is the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight change and eight single crochet. How we can start the next row always we make one chain for this and then turn the pattern and then you have to make again if you start from here your pattern should be increasing like that you have to be make sure uh, you have a straight pattern so what we can do is start from here One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last one, seven. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
again we make one chain and return one two three four five six seven and this one counts as eight so insert the hook here put on set put on Always we have to need the last one to make the edge really really nice. To look at here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is the way we make a single crochet. I have a samples for you. You can see if you make some several rows your patterns will be like this this is back side front side how we can make a half double crochet again i have eight chain i take the eight one and then make two chain this is it considered as the first one now I take the yarn like that, then insert the hook here. Now I have three loops. Grab the yarn and then knit all together. Again, next chain. the insert we in the chain One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I make two chain and return them. Again, here. So we have to make sure you have two here. Then yarn over, insert the hook here, take and knit. Yarn over, insert the stitch. Then now I have to also knit the last one. I always leave it in here and then. Two, four, six, eight. Then chain two and go back and start from this hole to make a half double crochet. Let me show you the samples for this one. After a few rows, your pattern should be like. Now we are going to make double crochet. For double crochet, you have to, from the beginning, you have to make three chain. One, two, three. Grab the yarn and insert your hook in the first chain. And then, now we have again three loops. This time you have to take the first two together, then the other two together. 
again. Grab the yarn, insert this chain, take the yarn, knit two, knit two. Okay, continue until the end of the row. Now we are going to make three chain and meter. Again, grab the yarn and say okay. First two, done. Now we have double crochet. I'll show you the bigger pattern like this. This is the way it looks like. How can we make triple crochet? This is the same as the other, but the difference is from the beginning we make four chain one two three four return and then grab your one two this is triple here now we insert the hook here we need first two again the other two and then the last one you can see like that one Two, insert the hook first two second and third let's make one more two here one two It looks like table crochet. If we want to make double table crochet, we have to make five chain, return the bar, and this time you have to make one, two, three. See, I have four here. Set the hook. Two, two. Two, two. Okay. 
Can you see the difference? This is double crochet, this is triple crochet, and this is double triple crochet. One, two, three, and then make two, first two, second two, third two, and fourth. One, two, three, two, two, two. We'll make one more That's it. Now you know how to make very, very fantastic crochet. This is double crochet, triple crochet, double triple crochet. Now we are going to learn how we can make the rib. This is one way we can make it. As you can see, front side and back side are almost the same. Let's start. I make for the first row double crochet. Now I make three chains, return. Yarn over. But this time, instead of insert the uh, hook, here in this hole, I have to make the stitch from here between these two. Again, here. Insert the hook here, take it here, and then grab the yarn. And just make a double crochet. Now I have to, for the next stitch, I have to do it at the back side. Insert the hook here, take this stitch, and then grab the yarn. Make a double crochet. For next one, again in front. Next one. And we keep continue until the end of the row. One front, one back. When it's come at the end, and this is the chain we made in the beginning, just you have to take two of the chain and then. Again, we make three chain. Now we look at the pattern. If we have it at the back side, we make it at the back. The one we have it in front, we keep continue in front. Again, the one I have at the back, I make it. The one in front, I make. And we keep continue this way.
Now we have the chain again, we thread the hook here, and then make it. Now we have it. You can see this is really, really soft. Of the rib, this is really good for starting for a sweater, blouse, or edge of the your knitting. That's it. Now we are going to make another rib, which is going to be looks like that. Let's start. How can we make it? Again, I have here double crochet. I make three chain, return, grab the yarn. This time, before I do the pattern, instead of insert the hook here, I should look at this chain here and take if you can see I have one here one here I take the second the one at the back and then knit the one at the back and knit if you look at this this chain here this is the front side this is the back side I take the and then again Let's make one more row. I make three return. You look at chain here. Start to take that one on the back. The difference between this one and this one is I use this one for half double crochet this is double crochet can you see the difference and also back side just looks like that and this is front side the last part of this video is another way to make a rib this is front side and this is back side. Let me show you how we can make it. Now I have double crochet. I start to make a three chain, three turn, grab the yarn and again here in this stitch. I start to make one stitch in front again the next one also in front and I repeat the pattern until I receive the end of the row Now 
now I'm going to make three chain and loop. Wrap the yarn. This time instead of front, I have to take it from the back. And keep continue like all of the stitches in the back side. Usually the last one we have to insert the hook on top of the chain and then because it help us to have a beautiful edge at both sides. Again we return and this time all of the stitches again in front. And we keep continue one row in front, one row at the back. We just finish the job and then I'll show you how it looks like. As I told you, this is front side and back side. And also, this one is really smooth. Before I finish the video, I'm going to sh share some another tips for you some in some uh, patterns we are not going to start from the beginning for example in some pattern maybe we have to start from this stitch how can we come from this part to that part this is really simple we insert the hook here grab the yarn and then grab it here insert the hook grab the yarn this is a sleeve stitch Grab the yarn, take it now, on and here, if I want to start the pattern, for example, I can start it from here. This is the last part I forgot to tell you about the slip stitch. See, it's really nice, you cannot see, it's exactly the same as the other part. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and have a good day.